Have you heard about Planet Nine? No, not Pluto. We're talking about something lurking on the outskirts of the solar system. A mysterious planet that exists in our solar system that we haven't yet discovered. We've been looking for it for years. But finally, it seems like scientists found a key to solve this mystery. Planet Nine is a hypothetical planet. Astronomers have been on the hunt for it for quite some time now. But it's so elusive that they've only been able to piece together a few details about its potential characteristics. One thing we do know is that Planet Nine has to be a massive world, possibly up to 10 times the mass of Earth. That's one big planet. It's also thought to be a distant wanderer, hanging out somewhere between Neptune and Pluto. Some scientists think that Planet Nine might actually be a mini Neptune with a thick, gaseous atmosphere and a rocky core. Others speculate that it could be an icy world with a solid, frozen surface and a thick layer of hydrogen and helium gas. Of course, since we haven't actually found Planet Nine yet, we can't say for sure what it's like. We're not even sure that it even exists. Some say it's just a myth, like the Tooth Fairy or the Easter Bunny, but others are convinced that it's out there somewhere. And at the end of the day, we're not entirely sure if Planet Nine is even a planet. It might be a special kind of black hole or made entirely of dark matter. The search for Planet Nine began in the early 21st century when a group of astronomers realized that something wasn't quite right with the outer reaches of our solar system. They noticed that some distant objects, known as trans-Neptunian objects, were behaving in unexpected ways. Trans-Neptunian objects, or TNOs, are like the cosmic version of those items in the back of your fridge that you forgot about for years. They're small, icy bodies that hang out in the Kuiper Belt, beyond Neptune. So, scientists noticed that these guys started behaving weirdly. At first, they thought it might be a fluke. But as they dug deeper, they began to suspect that there was a ninth planet lurking out there. Why haven't we discovered it yet, you ask? Well, it may be because of Planet Nine's weird orbit. All the other eight planets orbit the Sun in roughly the same plane, which is like a flat disk. However, our hypothetical friend's orbit is different. It might be tilted and move in a different direction compared to the other planets. Its orbit might also be stretched out like an oval, rather than being nearly circular like usual. Because of this, Planet Nine might spend most of its time far from the Sun, like a true introvert. It only comes relatively close to the inner solar system every few thousand years. This would make it super faint and hard to spot. So the only way we may discover it is by studying the gravitational effects it has on our solar system. And this isn't the first time astronomers have gone looking for a new planet. Back in the 19th century, there was a similar hunt for a hypothetical Planet X. But this time, they were armed with much better technology and a much better sense of humor. They began calling their elusive quarry Planet Nine, which was much catchier than Planet X. They even came up with a hashtag for the search, Pluto Lives. It was a reference to the fact that Pluto had been kicked from the planet gang and some astronomers were eager to find a new planet to take its place. But the search for Planet Nine has been no easy task. It's like trying to find a lost sock in the laundry basket the size of a football stadium. It's so far away and so faint that even the most powerful telescopes can't see it. Instead, astronomers have had to rely on indirect evidence, like the strange orbits of TNOs, to try to figure out where it might be. Some scientists have even supposed that it might be a wandering rogue planet, which would explain why it's so hard to find. But they haven't given up hope. Till this day, they're scouring the skies using all sorts of high-tech telescopes and fancy algorithms to try and spot this elusive planet. And fear not, dear curious human, because it looks like after so many years of research, 
we may have finally found the key to solve this mystery. Astronomer Man Ho Chan from Hong Kong has a theory. He believes that Planet 9 could have a bevy of moons. That's right, not only is it a giant planet hiding out in the depths of space, but it's also a bit of a hoarder. Moons are all the rage in the outer solar system. In fact, almost every planet here has at least one moon, except for Mercury and Venus. Earth has just one, which is kind of sad if you think about it. Even non-planetary bodies like Pluto have at least a couple of moons. A bit unfair, isn't it? Anyway, taking this into account, let's go moon picking with Planet 9. The region between the rock-filled Kuiper Belt and the rock-filled Oort Cloud, where this planet is predicted to be, should be ripe for the picking. Chan made some calculations and determined that it would be stranger if the elusive planet didn't have any satellites. According to his calculations, an object the mass of Planet 9 should capture at least 20 TNOs as large as almost 90 miles across. It's like our mysterious planet is playing cosmic Pokemon with these guys. So, what if Planet 9 has moons? Would that make any difference? Kinda yes! they could give us some indirect clues to finally locate this mysterious planet. Now, you might be thinking, how in the cosmos can we possibly spot these teeny tiny moons? It's not like they're going to wave a giant flag or blast some Beyonce tunes to get our attention. Well, apparently the key lies in something called tidal heating. Tidal heating might sound like a new workout trend, but it's a real scientific phenomenon. It happens when two celestial bodies are close together. You see, tides aren't just about the rise and fall of the ocean, they're also the result of gravity pulling unevenly on a planet or moon. When a planet and a moon are close enough to each other, their gravity pulls on each other, creating a bit of a football shape. And as these celestial bodies move around each other, they shift shape and generate friction inside, which produces heat. Wow, who knew that Planet 9 could have a workout routine? Perhaps we should start calling it Gym Planet instead. Anyway, if Planet 9 has any moons, the gravitational pull from these moons would cause it to change shape constantly, generating heat in the process. And we might be able to detect this mysterious planet through the heat produced by those moons, even though it gives off no other signals. Now, before you get too excited, Finding them won't be a walk in the park. They're incredibly small and would be very far away from us. But hey, nothing worth discovering ever came easy, right? Scientists are optimistic that with the right technology, they can spot this telltale sign. It will be easier for us to spot them with fancy instruments like modern telescopes. Talk about cool friends to have, right? Sure, the process of finding it may be difficult and time-consuming, but the potential payoff is huge. Finding this planet could explain a lot of the strange behavior observed in TNOs, the Kuiper Belt, and beyond. As we've already mentioned, they've been acting super weird lately, tilting and aligning in suspicious ways. If this planet doesn't actually exist, we have yet to explain what is the reason for this strange behavior. In any case, the search for Planet 9 is one of the most exciting and intriguing quests in modern astronomy. It's like a cosmic scavenger hunt, and everyone's invited to join in on the fun. So, grab your telescopes and let's go planet hunting! Who knows, maybe we'll find it sooner than we think! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.